This instructional video is designed to show you how to use the Nernst equation to solve for an unknown concentration of one component in a voltaic cell. The first step is very similar to other Nernst equation problems where we need to first find a value for E cell standard. In order to do this, we'll need to write out the reactions for each half cell. So our first one is solid copper. And this is very straightforward to solve because we only need to add one electron. The second half reaction then is the reduction of iron 3 plus with three electrons going to solid iron. Once we have our half cells, we want to find them in a lookup table of reduction potentials. Because the lookup table will be reduction potentials, uh, this first one is written as oxidation. It must be reversed to be found in the table of reduction potentials. Once we found that value for E cell of the reduction reaction, in order to use it for oxidation, we must change the sign. So in the table, you'll find it listed as positive 0 0.520 volts. As oxidation, that becomes negative 0.520 zero volts. The iron reaction is reduction already, so when we find that in the table we can simply copy it over, and that is minus 0 0.04 volts. Combining these two values gives us the E cell standard. And so when we combine these two, we get negative 0.5 six volts. So the next step then is to determine the expression for Q. For that we will need to recognize that we must multiply by three our copper reaction. And when we do that we're able to cancel three electrons and our overall reaction then is iron three plus plus three copper yields three copper one ions and our ions are all in solution and solid iron. So with this information it's now possible to write out an expression for Q. We're going to have our copper concentration raised to the third power, divided by our iron concentration. And so these two pieces of information, E cell standard and the form of Q, along with our understanding that we used three electrons in the process, will allow us to execute this third step, which is to use the Nernst equation, namely that E cell equals E cell standard minus RT over NF ln of Q. And because we have a value for E cell and E cell standard, a form for Q, we have the temperature, number of electrons used, gas constant and Faraday's constant, we can actually step through this entire thing. And because many reactions are listed as happening at 25 degrees Celsius, we have a simplified version that we can use. And that is E cell equals E cell standard minus 0.0257 divided by the number of electrons. In this case, it's 3 ln of Q. So let's substitute in negative 0.6 for E cell. E cell standard is negative 0.56. We have uh, 0.0257 divided by 3 and we get negative 8.57 times 10 to the negative 3. And now for Q Copper's concentration is 3 molar. 
that is cubed, and our unknown concentration of iron 3 plus. And so now we can proceed to simplify things. Uh, we're going to need to add 0.56 to both sides. Uh, this will leave us with negative 0 0.04 equals minus 8.57 times 10 to the minus 3. And we can use logarithm rules. This is ln of 27 minus ln of our unknown concentration. So now we're going to divide both sides by this prefactor uh, and do the subtraction uh, just to skip past some of that awful algebra. And what we find then is that the natural log of our iron concentration is equal to negative 1 0.37. In order to remove the natural log, we're going to use the exponential. So e to the ln of anything is just that quantity. So we're left with the following to solve. Iron 3 plus concentration is equal to e raised to the minus 1.37. So once we uh, plug that in, what we find is the value of our concentration. 0.25 molar. So this is the value of the unknown concentration that gives us this reaction with the cell potential of negative 0.6 volts.